Hello all, this is Dr. Alsup and thanks for joining me in another dissection video. In this video, we will discuss some of the basics of the external genitalia of individuals assigned male at birth. So the two dominant structures without doing any deeper dissection are the penis and the scrotum. The scrotum, which you can see kind of on either side here, is composed of many layers, but when looking at an external view, you see a cutaneous sac, which will be suspended from the perineum and the inferior portions of the proximal penis. The scrotum contains the testes and the distal portions of the spermatic cords, and we will look at a deeper dissection in a moment of this. When looking at the external penis, you see the body or the shaft of the penis, as well as the glands penis, which is the expanded distal portion of the penis. And here is the external urethral meatus um, that's going to be located at the distal portion of the glands penis. In anatomical position, the penis is actually in an erect state. So this region here, what we're viewing, is actually the dorsum or the dorsal portion of the penis as this is not in the erect state. All right, let's look at a deeper dissection and focus on some of the contents of the scrotum, primarily the spermatic cords and the testes. So the scrotum has been totally dissected and we're only looking at the contents here. You can see the testes here and here, as well as portions of the epididymis and almost the entirety of the epididymis right here. All right, now the right spermatic cord has only been minimally dissected, um, and so you can see some of the fascial and muscular covering of the spermatic cord, namely the cremasteric fascia, uh, as well as the muscle. So you can see that you can't see any of these deeper structures because of the fascia and the cremasteric muscle. But looking at the left spermatic cord, a deeper dissection has, uh, has occurred here. And I often think the dominant structure of the spermatic cord, or at least the part that's easiest for me to identify, are the pampiniform plexus of vein. So I'm just going to kind of outline some areas that are the pampiniform plexus of veins. You can see some of it here and some of it right around here. So you see it's a fairly dominant structure. Now we know that veins don't always present as blue in a dissection, but they actually often do for the pampiniform plexus. Additionally, these veins tend to be a bit more torturous than what we're used to for veins. They're also going to surround the testicular artery. So this is the artery right here. Um, you can see it extending a little bit in this region. Um, so that testicular artery rec uh, recall is actually going to be a branch of the abdominal aorta and it extends all the way down to this region, obviously, to get towards the testes. The ductus or vas deferens is also a major component of the spermatic cord. And um, you can see that it presents a bit more rope-like or tube-like than the artery and the veins in this region. Now in this dissection, there's a bit more of a focus on the epididymis, which you can see very closely associated with the testis here. You can actually see some of the efferent ductules, which we're not having you identify, um, but that's going to uh, help form the epididymis. The head of the epididymis is going to be more superiorly located, so actually closer to your head. So that kind of helps in terms of being able to identify that. The body is going to be more intermediate, and the tail of the epididymis is going to be more inferiorly placed, and this tail is going to be continuous with the ductus deferens or the vas deferens, which you can see if I continue on, that vas or ductus deferens extending up to uh, be part of the spermatic cord and eventually make its way through the inguinal canal to get towards um, where it will join with the seminal 
gland to form the ejaculatory duct. All right, so that should wrap us up with what you are responsible for identifying in a practical format. As always, please feel free to reach out with any questions, and thank you for your time and attention.